we will call the meeting of the environment and or we will call the meeting of the Senate's Mining and Forestry Policy Committee to order. Uh, today we will be considering the confirmation of Aaron Vandalin and uh, for the director of the school trust lands. Uh, just to note, we do have a quorum. A little bit about uh, Mr. Vandalin. He was appointed uh, director of the Minnesota Office of School Trust Lands by Governor Walls for a term running of 1-1-2021 to 12 2024 Aaron is the first person to hold this position, originally serving a term from 9-23-2015 to 12-31-2020. He was appointed by then Governor Dayton. Uh, during his first term, he was confirmed by the Senate by a voice vote on May 17, 2016. And from September uh, 2012 through September 2015, he served as the school trust lands administrator for the DNR. So a lot of experience and I'm gonna hand it over to Aaron. He can uh, go over as much as you want. The floor will be yours, share as much as you want. And then when you're done with, with your testimony, uh, we'll open it up for questions from members and, and take a vote. So Aaron, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chair and, and Senators. It's, uh, it's an honor and a privilege to uh, be in this position again to be, uh, to be reappointed uh, as the School Trust Lands Director. As you mentioned, I have served in this role since 2015. Uh, and before that, I've worked in, in the DNR. Um, I will say, the first few years, um, I had a lot to learn uh, as the first director. Um, we had to stand up an office, uh, create all the policies and procedures on how we were gonna operate an, as an office and really work on the um, relationship building that I needed to with uh, the Department of Natural Resources who serves as the on the ground day-to-day -day manager as well as with the uh, legislat legislature and the Permanent School Fund Commission. Uh, I believe we've made significant strides um, since 2015 on school trust lands management. Uh, I, I don't want to rehash the uh, presentation that I gave to the to the committee a few weeks back, uh, but I will say that uh, my statute, I call it my statute, uh, 127A353, it's the director's statute. Uh, it lays out all the duties uh, that the director is supposed to perform. And we have accomplished the majority of those and continue to work on those um, as our day-to-day -day guide on, on what we're supposed to be working on. Uh, in particular, uh, we have identified what the value of the school trust lands assets are from a real property standpoint. Uh, the two and a half million acres that is across Minnesota has a an assessed real property value at $1.9 billion. And I, I don't think we talk about that um, probably as much as we should. Uh, we've, we've also um, worked um, quite diligently on our school trust strategic plan. Uh, we got that out in December, or excuse me, in April of 2018, and we've made, um, so much progress on that plan that we are now updating the plan. Uh, the statute required that the plan be updated every five years and be in, done in conjunction with DNR. First plan was done in conjunction with DNR. Our update, we're working through the similar process that we did last time to update the plan. And you know, looking more so for this new plan, I, th I think we're, we're looking not so much as what we needed to do to set up the office and, and develop those relationships, but really looking forward to some of those uh, strategic innovations that we have on school trust lands. And, and I'll just say, generally speaking, I think school trust lands um, can be part of the solutions to a number of the problems that we're facing in the state whether it's you know mineral resources or mineral development or, or forestry or even the you know the forest industry or even the new green technologies that we're going to need and some of the carbon sequestration things uh, that we can do in Minnesota on school trust land so we'll be looking at some new strategies with this new plan that will really set us up for the future I believe on how we're going to manage our school trust lands for the multiple benefits that we enjoy on on them in Minnesota, whether it's providing you know jobs for the rural economies or recreation opportunities or 
some of those conservation values that I, I, I think are near and dear to all Minnesotans hearts. Um, I will say the, um, the one thing that I thought I would have done already that we would have completed already and that's the uh, Boundary Waters Land Exchange Project. Um, and I can see Senator Rude chuckling. Um, you know, I've, I've worked on that project since, uh, well, probably since 2010, um, formally since August of 2012. And the finish line is in sight. And um, we are going to, uh, we're going to need some help from the legislature to uh, get us across the finish line. But uh, I believe that we will be in front of the land exchange board this time next year, maybe, maybe June of next year uh, to to finally put a bow on on that and get a and seek approval from the land exchange board to to move that project forward. Um, Mr. Chair, I I don't have um, many other many other comments to to make. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions um, from the committee. And I'm sorry. Um, Mr. Vandalin, um, you, you've got a pretty extensive resume and you went over some of it, um, how you were the school trust administrator before and, and it's kind of been a, there's, there's been a lot that's went into this role and a lot, of, a lot of time and blood and sweat and tears, so to speak, have went into it. So we appreciate your dedication to, to the school trust. And I know um, I've had a front row seat and so is Senator Rood and uh, for those of us that have served on the school trust commission uh, know the hard work you've put in. So um, I think we'll open it up for questions unless you wanna um, hit any more on any, any of the other things you've done or some of the work you've done. I know that you've done a lot more than just the land exchange. And I mean, you've built a lot of relationships, um, not only in Minnesota with the legislators and doing education about the school trust, but I know you've done a lot of work as well. Um, and I don't know if, if you, it's on your resume, I think, but you didn't mention it about being um, one of the board on the, on the National Association of School Trust Lands. Kind of forget about that. So, I mean, you're, you're advocating for school trust on a larger level as well. And I don't know if you hit on that. Maybe if you want to touch on that a little more, you can. And then looks like Senator Rood has a question. After well, that. Mr. Chair, I'll, I, I, I want to just comment on that. So I, I first met um, um, Mr. Vandalin when um, I was chair of the school trust uh, committee and that way back in 12, when we were just kind of in our infancy and trying to figure it all out. And we soon realized that we needed someone to be in charge, somebody that could really advocate and take, take charge of, you know, we provide $30 uh, for every student in the state of Minnesota. So it's a, it's a large job. And so we soon realized that we needed somebody to take charge and take, take control of that. And um, so we put in place, I think we bothered um, and bugged uh, Senator, <laughs> Senator Governor Dayton every time and at every turn that we needed someone to be appointed. And of course, um, Aaron be, uh, being the school trust lands administrator at the DNR had all the knowledge that we needed um, to, for someone to take, take forward. So we were really excited. I think um, Senator Hoffman um, baked uh, Minnesota uh, sugar cookies for everybody. Um, we were and we had a big <laughs> we had a big celebration um, when uh, uh, Ms. Vandalin was appointed. It was it was a big thing. And and since then he has really grown into position. And um, it, um, and Senator Icorn, uh, when you talk about the National Association, that's really important. Um, we have gone um, with, uh, you know, uh, Denise Dietrich uh, with the School Board Association, and we went out to Moab, Utah to find out how they um, do their trust lands and bring that information back to Minnesota. Uh, we went to Alaska to see how they um, uh, did their trust lands and brought back forth all the ideas. And then we shared with other states, um, I believe, it, um, was it 18 that you hosted Duluth? Yes, um, Senator, that's correct. We hosted the, the nation um, in school trust lands in Duluth, Minnesota, so they could come and see and we could show off our trust lands. So um, I, I think Mr. Vandalin has done a really great job of bringing ideas from around the country and then sharing our ideas too. And that's a really important 
um, uh, part of being uh, a director in this that he really looks at the big, uh, the bigger vision. So um, I have really appreciated that. And I have, um, it's been so excited to watch where we've come from 12 until now and the education that we've done with a lot of members and hopefully we can do that going forward. It's kind of hard with COVID, but the first uh, field trip we ever took was to the Saxon Bog and it was one of the pieces that we traded um, so that the, the bog could be forever kept, um, but the school trust needed, to, uh, got a better parcel of land for the children because we always have to remember that the fiduciary responsibility is to the children in Minnesota. So um, I just think that um, the school trust land is, is and you as, as its director has come such a, a long way. So um, I thank you for that. Thank you, Senator Rudin, and, and I don't, um... I want to provide you some updated information. The uh, distribution amount um, that went out for this school year equated to about $45 a student. Wow, that's amazing. That's really amazing. Yeah, it's, wow, we need to get that information out. That's awesome. It's there's There's been considerable growth in the um, value of the financial investments that are, are spinning off a, a bigger and bigger return or quote unquote spendable income for the school districts each year. Um, you, know, you know, Senator Icorn, uh, Mr. Chair, I'm, I'm glad you brought up the National Association of State Trust Lands. Uh, I've been involved in that organization. I think my, my first um, trip to one of those was in Kalispell, Montana. Now I will tell you, Senator Rood is, mentioned that we went to Moab and we went to Alaska and I've been to Montana twice now. Um, it's not always that glamorous. Uh, I did go to Bismarck, North Dakota one year as well uh, and visited some oil and gas wells. There is nothing glamorous about Bismarck, North Dakota. I went to NDSU <laughs> and there's no reason to go west of Fargo unless you're going to Washington or skiing. Skiing isn't bad, but Bismarck if you if you Sorry if you stop at Red Lodge in in Montana, Senator Isaacson, I think you're right. Yes, um, but that association gave me a some insight into how other states are managing their lands. I had the uh, opportunity to serve as the asset uh, committee chair for that organization for a couple of years. I I served on a data sharing committee, um, or actually led that data sharing committee with that association. And really what that association tries to do, and it's, it's made up of 21 states that hold about 515 million acres of trust lands across the Western states. Um, we try to educate each other. Now, a lot of those states are oil and gas states um, that have large trust funds from oil and gas revenues. But, you know, we look to states like Washington and Oregon and Idaho and Montana when it relates to timber and, and things of that nature. But um, one of the things that I did learn, and I'm glad you asked this because it, it was on my list and I didn't bring it up earlier, was um, how states are, are looking at their school trust assets and then developing asset management plans that will guide how they manage those assets into the future. And Minnesota, the Minnesota statute for the director um, says that we have to come up with a 25 year framework for uh, managing those assets. And, and we will have a finalized asset management plan within I would say nine months. We're, um, we're going through a number of review processes right now to make sure that we have everything correct, uh, working with um, Callan LLC is a, a national in, investor, um, but they have a, a real property section. And Sally Haskins, who's the vice president of that, and has been working hand in hand with us on that as she did with other states like Idaho and Oregon and Colorado on developing their asset management plans. And, and I think that is um, one of the the bigger projects, it's not just the land exchange, you're right, but I think that asset management plan is, is really going to shed light on uh, where we can do better with school trust land management and take into consideration all of the different um, benefits that school trust lands provide to Minnesota. So um, 
Currently, I am the, it's a volunteer organization. I serve as the vice president and uh, help guide um, some of the work that the association does or the association members do on a volunteer basis. Um, one of the things that we're working on in Minnesota that we hope to be able to share with other member states is a um, carbon sequestration opportunity project on school trust lands in Minnesota. So I'm, we're studying that uh, currently um, with Dovetail Partners, the Nature Conservancy, uh, NRRI, and the D DNR Resource Assessment Shop. So there's a, a small team of us that are, are looking at that and um, setting up models that we hope Minnesota can use, but we'll also provide some uh, guidance to the other states on how they could uh, develop those type of projects in their states as well. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, before I jump in with another question, I'll see if uh, Senator Isaacson or anyone else has a question. If not, I'll jump in with another question. I kind of feel like you were expecting me to talk, like insinuating I talk all the time or something. Is that what was going on there, Senator No, Isaacson? I just didn't know if you had a question. I mm -hmm. Normally, you put your hand up. Sometimes you raise your hand. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss you. Your diligence is truly appreciated. <laughs> So you, you, did a lot, you did a lot of talking about where we've been, some of the stuff you've done, all the great work the School Trust is doing. Uh, can you talk just a little bit about where the School Trust is going in the future and what you see kind of in the, in the near horizon for School Trust? That's an excellent uh, question, Senator Icorn. I, I think, um, as I alluded to earlier, I think we're missing some opportunities um, on School Trust lands that can demonstrate the multiple benefits that school trust lands provide. Uh, Senator Rood mentioned one of the early projects that we worked on, and that was when I was in DNR. I don't think it was completed until I was out of DNR, but that was the Saxon Bog Land Exchange. So, you know, that land exchange created the largest, at the time, the largest wetland bank in the nation, the Lake Superior Wetland Bank. It was on school trust lands. It was on county tax forfeited lands. Well, what it did was it preserved the the Saxon bog, which is a world renowned birding um, site. It provided uh, wetland banking credits for development, whether it's for county roads or for mineral development. And it got the school trust out of uh, an area where it couldn't produce revenue and into productive forest lands. Um, so I, I look at those, you know, it's, a, a, it's not just a win-win, it's a win-win-win, right? And so I, I look at those opportunities on school trust lands. I think we have a lot of opportunity in Minnesota for uh, carbon sequestration on school trust lands. Um, I, I don't particularly subscribe to the, the, the default notion that that just means extended rotation on all of our forest. I think it is more than that. I think it comes with reforestation efforts. It comes with making sure that you have the right trees and the right soils, et cetera. Um, but looking for those opportunities where we can not only generate revenue, which is what our number one job is, but to also you know, provide some other societal benefits or ancillary benefits, if you will, uh, from those school trust lands. You know, when, it, when, we, when you look at the, the future um, with regard to forestry, um, Everybody has seen that the decline in the paper market is is um, had a, a tremendous impact, negative impact on our forest economy, and we need um, we need new markets for our for our forests. I know NRI is working on uh, things related to biochar or biomass. We've um, done some studies on on that as well, in, in the school trust office on what the opportunity is on school trust lands. So I, looking for those those new markets and those new opportunities, I think is is really where we're going to be looking to to focus some of our energy. Makes sense. Thank you. Um, any additional questions? Not seeing any. Pretty simple. I mean, you gave us a lot of good data today. One thing I will say, um, again, having that front row seat is we do we I've always appreciated that you 
you're very focused on what's good for the trust, what's good for the school kids of the state of Minnesota. We appreciate that. I've never seen you bring politics into the school trust uh, or anything like that. So we appreciate how you've handled your role and um, would would be happy that you were here today. And I'm, I'm gonna hand it over to, to Senator Rood for a second. It looks like Senator Kunish is getting back on and I will hand it over to Senator Rood. Senator Rood would like to make the motion today. Yes, Senator Rood. Um, thank you. Uh, I would like to move that uh, we move uh, the confirmation of Erin Vandalin as the director of Minnesota Office of School Trust Lands to the floor with recommendation. On Senator Rood's motion, all those in favor, say aye, thumbs up. Aye. Aye. Perfect. Everyone voting in the affirmative or nays. No nays, everyone voting in the affirmative. It does pass. And uh, Mr. Vandalin, your confirmation is moved to the Senate floor uh, pending, pending a vote on the floor. So thank you very much today. Um, I see Senator Goggin just hopped in. Um, you, you missed it by about 10 seconds. If you have any, but we'll, just in case you had questions, I'll, I'll give you an opportunity if you got a question for Mr. Vandalin. If not, that's okay as well. But since we're all here, if you, if you do have a question, Senator Goggin or Senator Kunish, uh, feel free. Uh, no, Mr. Chair, I do not. I, I apologize. I was presenting another bill on another committee, so thank you. It's it's amazing how busy we are, even on Zoom, without yeah. going to different places. Uh, Senator Kunish, did you have anything? Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, we I would I would love to uh, say thank you and congratulations once again, um, uh, Aaron. I sat on the school trust lands over in the house for the four years I was there. I learned so much about Minnesota, about um, the history of Minnesota, about how the, the lands of Minnesota are working so hard for our students, as well as uh, interesting enough how other states have either not made it work as successfully or have, you know, grown leaps and bounds beyond us. And so while I'm not sitting on that committee now, and I'm really sad not to be, um, I love to continue hearing about it and, and hearing about the really good work that you're doing. And I'm really, really pleased that, that you've been uh, reappointed because I know you do have the best interest of our students and our state in mind. So thank you very much and, and welcome back. <laughs> thank you, Senator. Thank you. Seeing no other business to come before the committee today, um, we will stand adjourned. Thank you.